What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome to a Dungeon Defenders 2 Beginner's Guide and Tutorial Series. This series will be in really no specific order as new topics will come up, but I will try to get it organized after release into a much more complete and timely playlist. As changes take place between now and release, I will do my best to update this series and make sure that the playlist is always current. This series will be played on the PC, however most of these topics will very easily transfer over to the PS4 with just a few different controls. If there's anything at all that you'd like more information on, or something that you struggled with as a beginner, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to make it a topic in this series. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we have got one map under our belt. If we go ahead and hit I, we see that now under the inventory tab, we have a little bit of currency, Defender Metals. If we remember back, Defender Metals is one of the things that it takes to purchase new heroes. So let's go ahead and do that and get our other two from the starting four heroes unlocked. If we go to Create Hero, the Dryad. we're going to go ahead and go to the Huntress and we're going to unlock that an hero. an experienced wildlife hunter and trapper, having ventured deep into the wilder depths of Etheria. Then we're going to go to the monk as a student of martial arts and we're going to do the same thing so now we have the ability to go ahead and completely fill our hero deck with one each of the four having starter heroes see there would be a huntress for me And then we're going to create one more to fill that last slot. And we're going to make this one a monk. As a student of martial arts, the monk thrives in combat, commanding the ebb and... And there we go. So now when we open our hero deck, we are full. We've got one in each spot. Now you see uh, these two guys are level four already from completing that first match. These other guys will catch up pretty quick. That first map really doesn't do uh, much as far as experience gain over the long term. Now of course we do know this is a loot based game. Loot is what it's all about. So let's go ahead and pop on over to our heroes that we had out for that first round and see what kind of goodies we got. See we got a couple of blue, nice blue pieces. Uh, of course the, the gray pieces are the lowest quality. Then comes green. Then will come blue purple will be the mythical tier which we don't have yet and then gold will be legendary after that however let's just go ahead and get some of this gear equipped and fill all these slots let's see let's hop on the the squire and do the same thing and just getting anything in those slots for right now i'm not even looking at the gear to see exactly what's on it. As at this point, I'm just going by just the qual overall quality of the gear itself. You almost forgot a weapon for my apprentice. Now if you notice the little item power directly under the icon of the item, that's going to give you a rough idea of the quality. So if we see this one is 23 and this one is 22, obviously they're both pretty close so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go ahead and pick the 23 just because it's better. And now I have a weapon with a different shot type, which uh, shot types we will get to in later videos as well. So that is a quick look at the hero deck and filling it up getting our basic gear in and now the objective here of course is to get ourselves leveled up to the max which is level 50 and get all of that awesome awesome fat loot so that's going to do it for now we'll see ya thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video click that like button and mash this big j over here to subscribe to the channel thanks again we'll see you soon